Welcome to Speak Up Ed by the London Lambda Studio. Listen to students share their ideas on the world's greatest contemporary issues. Today's featured talk is from Akshita talking about the gender pay gap. Hello everyone, I'm Akshita and I thank you very much for having me on this podcast to present to you my speech on the gender pay gap and for taking time out of your day to listen to my speech. The topics I will cover in today's speech are what is the gender pay gap, why it exists, details on the gender pay gap in each industry and the best ways to combat this issue. The public claim that all genders are treated fairly. However, if this is the case, why does this gender pay gap still exist? The gender pay gap is the difference in pay between the two genders. This has been a long-term issue for the past century and is something that is limiting the confidence for female workers across the world. In almost every company, females earn a stunning 8.9% less than men. Women have been allowed in the workforce ever since the mid-19th century due to the social and economic developments. The main reason for this difference in pay is because employers naturally assume that men are the main providers for the family rather than women. Furthermore, at that period of time, when women first started working, women who worked were mainly single and unmarried, hence they were paid lower wages. This is something that is still an issue in the working environment today. Many working women tend to opt for jobs that are more convenient to their tasks and duties as mothers. As well as the 19th and 20th centuries, female workers in the 21st century still face an issue. However, there are differences in gender pay gaps between different industries. One example can be in the acting industry. Portman says that she'd been paid one third of what her co-star Ashton Kutcher made for 2011's No Strings Attached. Compared to men in most professions, women make 80 cents to the dollar, Portman explained. In Hollywood, we are making 30 cents to the dollar. According to the law, there isn't supposed to be a pay gap, hence the Equal Pay Act of 1970. However, discrimination occurs when there are assumptions on women's roles. The gender pay gap among all employees fell from 17.8% in 2018 to 17.3% in 2019 and continues to decline. For age groups under 40 years, the gender pay gap for full-time employees is now close to zero. Among 40 to 49-year-olds, the gap is currently 11.4% and has decreased substantially over time. Among 50 to 59-year-olds and those over 60, the gender pay gap is over 15% and is not declining strongly over time. One of the reasons for differences in the gender pay gap between age groups is that women over 40 years are more likely to work in lower paid occupations and compared with younger women are less likely to work as managers, directors or senior officials. One way to combat this gender pay gap is to make workforces of higher profile jobs more convenient for women. This is pivotal as household duties and looking after the children is seen as a traditionally feminine responsibility, therefore causing this gap. Making these workforces more convenient for women will therefore make it easier for women to carry out those duties as well as work at the same time. Demand workforces to raise salaries for women in order to make them equal to men. While women can't negotiate around discrimination due to higher ranked jobs being given to men, pushing for a raise or better benefits can help. Pay people based on qualifications, not because of gender. If this was how people were rewarded, it would take into account the skills they have built themselves, not because of characteristics they cannot control. Anonymous CVs are also a better option so that employees won't hire people based on gender 
This idea may seem unrealistic, but this will give both genders a fairer, unbiased opportunity at achieving things. With all those strategies sounding somewhat realistic, we can expect the gender pay gap to continue to decline. From today's speech, we can safely say that the main culprit behind gender pay gaps is the societal stereotype of mainly men being the financial providers of the family and the duties women have to do as mothers. I hope in today's podcast, I have helped shed light on this issue. Thank you very much for having me. Keep on listening for an interview with Akshita. Akshita, what inspired you to talk about this topic? I think what inspired me to do this speech was the amount of my mum's friends who are housewives because they couldn't hack it with doing a full-time job and taking care of the kids. And so the gender pay gap may be a cause of less women being able to work because of their roles as mothers. And I want people to know that it is possible to raise a kid and do work at the same time. You've certainly put some interesting and very doable solutions to achieving a lesser gender pay gap. So why do you think that this is such an important issue to be talking about? The gender pay gap is an important issue because sometimes women don't feel as appreciated as men do in terms of being the being financially independent and women getting paid less for roles that men also do is very unfair and it ruins their self-esteem. Thank you for listening to the London Lambda Studios Speak Up Ed. For more information on speaking in public lessons with us, visit our website at londonlambdastudio.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook and keep up to date on new releases by following us on Instagram, all under London Lambda Studio.